I've been talking about praying the prayer of authority in these days of a crisis and uh, the global pandemic. And that prayer of authority is when we pray for Jesus to execute the will of God the Father on earth as in heaven. And to do this, we have to fulfill one condition. We have to be willing to live ourselves under the cross where our will is yielded to God's will in our own personal lives. So often this involves a struggle with our fallen nature which puts up resistance to God's will either when we don't understand it or when we just don't like it. Stoicism, the kind of response to God's will that grits our teeth and merely resigns ourselves to what we cannot change has no place in the Christian's relationship to our Father's will. The key to collaborating with his will is to know the one whose will we're aligning to, our Heavenly Father, and to know the one to whom that will has been entrusted and who is bringing it to pass in our lives, Jesus, our lover and our friend. If we've been captivated by his person, we'll find it so much easier to choose his will above our own. Because we know his will is not just grounded in his wisdom and power, but above all, in his amazing love. It's aligning with his will in our own lives that is the key to authority and prayer. And we grow into that authority as we collaborate with his will in our own lives, costly though that may be. It's so important that we don't waste the costliness of aligning to his will under the cross, but that we go on to the purpose of being under the cross, why our Father in heaven causes us to have to lay down our will or yield to his will in things that might be painful or difficult for us. It's so that we can go on to exercise this authority in prayer. Quite a few years ago, there was a brilliant book written called Don't Waste Your Sorrows. And I think it was by Paul Bilheimer. And it was about how God intends to use what we go through in aligning with his will to move us on to a place of authority in praying for his will to be done on earth. And this is the theme of Kirstegan's hymn today, where the will of God through the closeness of relationship with Jesus, the will of God becomes something sweet and light and joyful. Oh, sweet beloved will of God, my anchor ground, my fortress hill, my spirit silent, fair abode. In you I hide and I am still. Oh, will that wills my good. towards what's best a little child I follow on and trusting lean upon your breast God's will can make the bitter sweet all must be well when it is done, unless his will has ordained it, the glory in all joy is gone. Self, sense, and reason may not see 
that hidden way that leads to you, my will to you alone I yield, surrendering my heart to holds me in its secure embrace my captive will my peaceful souls imprisoned by your realm of grace O will of God my soul's desire my bread of life in need and pain O will of God my guiding fire unite my will to you again your good and perfect will is best with triumph now I make it mine and faith will cry a joyful yes to everything your will designs O oh, will in me your work be done for time and for eternity give joy or sorrow all are one to every soul